morning. Super cold out. fall day. It's cold. Probably about five degrees. Not too bad. Fair enough. Really nice day out today. Uh, Sorry about the smoke there. Uh, out testing the camera a little bit today, I found out there were some issues with my last couple of videos. <laughs> Look at the smoke. Uh, with this audio, uh, there's a lot of hissing, and it's because it's using an audio, uh, audio, no, oh, sorry, auto audio, I guess, and uh, tends to overcompensate a little bit. So the goal today is just to fiddle around and, and film the odd thing and just have a quick video on. Uh, me doing stuff, that's it, just me doing stuff. Cabin's coming along great. We're doing the uh, roof right now, which would be perfect for the for winter. Uh, yeah, we were up there all night last night and uh, it was it was fun. Uh, it's a little cold, but uh, it started raining near the end there. So came back out this morning, got things ready so we can finish her up today, hopefully. It's not gonna be very warm today, but that's all right. We're just gonna get out and enjoy the day more or less. And then, for now, I'm just gonna sit around and film whatever I feel like filming. If I don't film anything, then I don't film anything. And uh, this could be a very short video or it could be a long video. I'm not really sure at this point, but I'm just here to enjoy the fire, get things ready for my partner in crime to get here so I can uh, finish up the roof. It's just safer to have two people around working on this stuff. It's, it can be a little tricky, so you don't wanna, you wanna be a little careful. But other than that, uh, yeah, again, beauty day. I'm glad I came out, so. shortening this for the other eaves we're basically building them out so we don't need it at full length it gives us something to tack into that wind is pretty heavy so in my last video I talked a little bit about uh, how we had to kind of build out the backside because I made a miscalculation on uh, on the eaves and then the overhangs. I forgot that they would offset my rafters, or at least how I placed them. So the original plan was just to kind of lay down six sheets and then call her lovely. But then we added these overhangs, and it didn't come into the plan. However, we had to cut the half inch for another purpose to get them to fit in the first place, just to get them fit. And now we're reusing those one foot cuts that are left over, which is fantastic. So again, very little waste. We're using a lot of the same things that we've cut off for other projects and things. So it's working out really well. So uh, the expenses are kind of managed in a proper, excuse me, in a proper way. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. This is basically
basically for our facer boards. I wasn't going to do any on the back side, but my compatriot convinced me that it was worth our time to do it. So we're basically, basically building add-ons. And uh, are they perfect? No. Are they a little flimsy? Uh, yes. Will they work? Absolutely. So, you know, part of the growing pains, people. Part of the growing pains. So you can kind of tell how we're building it out. We're putting a two by four down the side, and then we're attaching this bad boy to it. It's gonna basically sit like this. And then your facer board is gonna go along here. We're gonna to tack to it just like that one there. And then we're gonna shingle and leave an overhang on the shingle so it doesn't get as exposed either. So it's working out so far. It's a little extra work, but you know it all pays off in the long run. <laughs> 